Just for those who are interested in the IPO analysis, so I'm at the beginning of this analysis over here and what I've seen so far has confirmed my fears around IPOs. So just very quickly, you know, there's not going to be any revelations in this video, nothing that's going to tell you, you know, how to get an edge or make money. Although I am seeing like a 3%, um, I'm not going to call it an edge yet and I'll explain why, but there, there is something quite interesting jumping out of this. So, you know, after cleaning the data, I was able to scrape uh, 1,499 or 1,500 IPOs and get their price information and see, you know, what was their uh, price, what were their price stats based on day one, day two, day seven, day 22, etc. after launch. Um, and so that's that's pretty much what I'm looking at at the moment. And, you know, to do it in a data science type way, because you know, humans, we, we see what we want to see and, and that can distort the the actual reality. And so so what I did is I've just summarized that um, there's some other pieces of analysis I want to do. So, for example, I've got what day of the week it was. Um, so I'm curious to know, you know, how does that IPO perform? Let's say if it launched on a Friday, um, you know, that kind of thing. But I haven't done that yet. What I wanted to share with you was just in total you know, what's going on here. So I've got some uh, scripts running here to um, basically provide some charts. So I'll undo those for a second. So they'll they'll run. And I'm basically saying, look, okay, for each of those day timeframes, so day one, two, seven, 22, 65, 128, 255, and 510. Um, have a look at, you know, the return, like, how did it do on that date since it's, you know, since it launched? And that's pretty much what I'm spitting into here. And that's what all this this code is doing. And I'm not going to walk through it because this is not a programming video. But honestly, it's 57 lines of code um, to have it run through and analyze that. So I'm going to hit play. And you'll see up here a bunch of charts now appear. Now, the one I'm interested in is this one. And it's this graph on the right, it shows the percentage of total for that day. Um, that's being analyzed whether it ended up being positive or not. So, you know, two days or positive versus negative, anything where there was zero movement, I just excluded. And I did find that very often, and I'll show you in a moment, um, some prices just don't move, right? They just stay at their IPO price. And so if you could trade that, then you definitely have an edge. So, uh, and I'll show that to you, but really you're looking at 50% here. So 53% and I've got the numbers printing down here. 53 to 54% max of the time, um, you know, the prices tend to end higher than they IPO would at within say 65 days after launch. Once you get to half a year, then it, it seems to normalize. But the only thing I'd say with this is there's going to be some data obscured here because I haven't excluded years that are over 500 and uh, under 510 days old. Um, but that said, this seems to be quite interesting. What this tells me is that IPOs statistically more often than not will, you know, they will perform fairly well um, for the first, say, 65 to whatever days. But up, as you get to like half a year in terms of trading days, um, it normalizes. That seems to be what's going on here. But of course, there's more testing, etc. involved to check that out. So there's definitely something going on there. If I undo this and let's say rerun the analysis and say, look, it needs to be greater um, or equal to zero, uh, then something quite interesting happens. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of this quickly uh, and make some adjustments here and just comment. Uh, let me just see here. I'm going to comment this out uh, here as such and hit play. And hopefully I've just done that right. So let me show you what we see. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting to see. So now that I've included zeros, so zero day movements, what this is saying is 60, whatever, 61% of the time or 61 and a half, 62% of the time, essentially, let's just call it 60% of the time. What's happening is it's either greater to than or equal to its IPO launch price. That's what that kind of tells me. Um, but then you have to ask, well, why and, and why is it not really moving? Does that mean there's a lack of liquidity, etc.? So, you know, if I go and take those changes out um, and take it back to what, you know, what we had seen before uh, and just run that chart, 
then you know, then I, I basically see this. And this is what I would accept as being, you know, decent analysis. This is basically saying, okay, you know, there's a slight edge in terms of when it launches. But then again, the market, so for example, NASDAQ goes up 3% more than it goes down, but the downs are larger than the ups. So this is just telling me, you know, in terms of the number of days that it increases. Now, it's not telling me the sum of those days, right? It's not telling me how how overall big are my increases or, you know, big are my decreases. That's some analysis I still need to do. But I thought you'd find just this interesting so far that, you know, there does seem to be a slight pattern, but not enough to make major trading decisions off of.